for the tournament and it's very close. Um, you know, super, super solid, super improved. I'm excited to see. I, I hope it has a good run. All right, but so far we're going to see what Carflo has to say about that right now. All right, nice ledge trump right there. Another one. The Durangar shaking its head. Oop, all right. Cool. Good use of the PK fire movement. Yeah. Carflo throwing out that reversal a little bit early, maybe. Dara loves practicing those like kind of optimal nest strings, and I think that's a big advantage of the box controller is those like really optimal top to input strings become a lot more consistent. Oh, absolutely! Great parry right there. And the back air to punish an ill-advised PK fire. Carflo wisely weaving his way underneath. Yeah, something Ness is love, you know, obviously is those PK fires like above platforms and such, where you have that platform to shield you, then you put a PK fire and someone running in. But Roy has that speed where you can get under Ness really quickly to where you can then punish the PK fires. And even off stage, you have the air speed to punish those PK fires. But that being said, also off stage, you're really exploitable. So Imgar able to bring it back pretty quickly. But already Roy's explosiveness coming out. Yep, Carflow already back in the driver's seat right now. Good air dodge right there, but the hula hula. That is, that is the, the yeah. so-called hilt hitbox that is pretty much the entire sword coming out right there. And that's that's so frustrating to get hit by because now Roy's just going to keep pressing buttons on you more. You know? It's not like they're going to camp with their lead. They're just going to mm -hmm. kind of kick you while you're down. And oh no, this poor Ness being hit by the swords. I like the idea with that ledge trump. Yeah, we saw uh, Carflow doing those ledge trumps in uh, the first stock, but Durangar uh, threw out uh, the uh, drop down uh, PSI shield uh, ready for at that time. Oof. And that wasn't the, the hilt hitbox that time. Shockingly. Right, Castro, once again, nice wall tech right there. Oh, Ness's air dash, air dodge. Not Just quite barely. enough, yeah. And I feel like a big reason Carful kind of run away with that is I think Gara had some issues where it was pressing buttons where it didn't, like pressing aerials where it didn't need to, you know. Ness was far away enough from Roy to where there wasn't, you know, you weren't going to hit Roy with that like fair or like an air or something. And because, but Carflow has the airspeed to punish with aerials like that from so far. So I think, I think like, honestly, I think Durangar had like a solid anti roy game plan. Just needs to press a little bit less buttons, I think. Like kind of try to bait a Roy dashing in and then punish accordingly to that, you know? Because Roy's are just going to go in regardless. So if you can bait that out and then punish it and then kind of elevates the gameplay to another level. Yeah, because then if you force the Roy to slow down, then you know they're not playing to their uh, their strengths quite as much, and then you can start really uh, holding the game pace a little bit more. But right now, Carflow not letting that happen firmly in the driver's seat, only 9%. Yeah, and that's just like a big weakness in Ness right there. You, you snub Ness's jump too far away to air dodge. Pretty much the only thing you can do is PK, uh, PK Rocket. And it's not, it's like you can mix it up, but it's pretty tricky. And uh, Carflow saw right there that the angle was going to be like kind of the one straight to the ledge. Really good counter. And Durangar gained some percent right here, but going to need to extend it more. That being said, Roy on the hunt. Once again, PK fires like that didn't get punished right there, but it seemed like Carflow was ready for it. You know, jumped in preemptively to bait it out. So clearly, Carflow is having an idea on when Durangar is going to be pressing on like a projectile or area. Mm -hmm. All right, good spot dodge there by Carflow. Duran back off stage. Oh. Actually gets the flare blade. Dude, I feel like I never see Roy's get that time. Right? They, they go for it, but they never get it. So good stuff on Carflow, and this is this is looking rough right here. Clearly, you know, just the confidence difference. That should be it. The confidence difference is far too high, uh, and that's a big thing, you know, because if you're playing against Ness but you're not confident, you're not gonna be fast enough to whiff punish the PK fires, to whiff punish like those. Uh, fading nares and such, but if you're pl like so, confidence is a huge part of Roy's gameplay in general. Even though it's like a mental state, it's so apparent in Roy's gameplay when they're playing confident because they're gonna be really in your face with the whiff punches. And clearly, Carflow, especially I guess like from that game one, winning like that was very confident going into game two. Started with like pretty much a zero to death, 
and was just knew where Dara was going to be. And it was very apparent. So great stuff from Carflow, clearly showing <laughs> why he's a Roy on the come up. And, uh, yeah. Aww. That's rough, you know. It's 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 rough getting, you know, kind of three stocked like that. But what you going to do? Uh, you know, I, I have faith in Zerim Gar. I have faith, you know, knowing mm -hmm. it. It's going to do great. But rough, you know, Roy is a character that can frustrate you, that can overwhelm you. So just happens sometimes. But... We're going to be getting Skeet back 